Future Funk Vinyl Records. We all want them. As summer approaches right around the corner, we are all ready for those summer nights, midday barbecues, and a gathering of some of the best people you know. And what better way to accent that feel-good habitat than with some 80 sped-up disco tracks looped on its catchiest parts over and over and over again in the background. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the Future Funk that was given the vinyl record treatment, and after, I'm going to present three Future Funk albums that I believe truly deserve the vinyl treatment treatment with photo mock-ups of them and everything. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Jake, he also goes by Dead Disc Drive. I reached out to him and told him I wanted to make a video about three future funk albums I want to see pressed on vinyl and if he could do the mock-ups for me. He's done a variety of Vaporwave vinyl mock-ups in the past that came out absolutely amazing and I've actually done a video about those as well if you want to check that out. Also, be sure to check out his most recent album that had its first cassette run completely sold out but he's having a second run of the cassette drop on May 20th. Be sure to cop one of those. So that being said, let's talk about some future funk vinyl records. So obviously, we have to start off with Hit Vibes, St. Pepsi's beloved classic that is sort of a crossroads for Vaporwave as it really stood out within the Vaporwave genre as sort of this album that everyone loved, but it was definitely more than just Vaporwave. We saw Hit Vibes drop all the way back in 2013, but it was also released on a promo vinyl in 2015 to a very limited run on 500 black copies and 500 red copies. In the community, the Hit Vibes vinyl pressing is known to be one of the most infamous Famous, notorious, and sought after pressing is due to its rarity, significance musically, and just the craving to have a classic St. Pepsi album spin on your record player. Hundreds of people, I know definitely me, are always waiting to hear that good news of this thing getting a repress, but with Skylar Spence, who St. Pepsi goes by nowadays, He's definitely moved on from his underground, lesser known internet beginnings, and for the most part, I can't really see him coming back or putting the time into finding a way to getting these samples cleared in 2018 and dropping a repress out of the album. Even though like this thing is going to pull in cash, the people will stop working to get home and, and pre-order this thing if it drops. He will definitely make money off of this. But look, with the direction Vaporwave Vinyl Records has taken in the past months, who really knows what's next? So you never know. Maybe we'll see this thing come back to life. Let's Let's also talk about Neon City Records as well, a Hong Kong based record label that is known for its excellent artists and also being one of the labels that have truly sparked production for Future Funk vinyl records. They have released a variety of different albums on vinyl such as Macross 8299's A Million Miles Away, which I did a vinyl record and album review on, check that out if you want to see one of my favorite records I now own that sounds truly incredible. They've also pressed Sailor Wave, Macross 8299's other banger and Fantasy by Night Tempo. Both, unfortunately, I don't think anyone has received yet, and I know I ordered mine the day they came out, and they were supposed to get here in, like, January, and it's already the middle of May. Pretty crazy. I, I think some of these labels who are super behind or late on their promised dates are kind of getting lucky, and they hide behind the controversy that is the floral shop pressing from Old English Spelling Bee. I still think just that pressing takes a lot of the attention away from these other labels who are kind of doing the same thing. I mean, hopefully, you know, we get our copies of Sailor Wave and Fantasy soon. The sound quality of a million miles away is so good and I can just only imagine how good Sailor Wave is going to sound. They've also recently released Timeless by Desired, a record that sold out extremely quick and in usual Vaporwave or Future Funk fashion are now being resold for like five times the price on eBay and whatnot. Pretty excited for that to come out. Um, and get to me, <laughs> but uh, I'm definitely gonna be patient because I know like how long Sailor Wave is taking. So if that isn't even here yet, I can only just guess when this album is gonna get on my doorstep. There's also rumors that they are going to be pressing Sailor Wave 2, which would be absolutely dope. So I do have to give Neon City Records a high five on taking the much needed initiative of getting us some beloved Future Funk records. Next, let's talk about the hottest label recently in the community. I mean. Everyone is just flipping over UK label My Pet Flamingo, who is just dropping heat after heat. Just yesterday, they announced Swag by Waterfront Dining. That is going to be insane if it sounds good. But they've also released pre-orders for Forever by Turnboy95, which I jumped on immediately. I mean, I was kind of bummed about the shipping price. It is from the UK. But that album is gonna goddamn bump, so it's definitely worth the price. If you haven't heard that album yet and wanna cop some serious feel good tunes, I highly recommend checking that out. The vinyl is on a limited 200 run white. I do think it's gonna sell out sooner than later. And just, yeah, more tracks to spin this summer that'll really hit those warm vibes we all love to soak in. So, yeah, with all the hype for Vaporwave and Future Funk vinyl as of recent days, 
there's no reason to not dream of some of our favorite coming to life on a giant frisbee. So as promised, here's three Future Funk albums I need to see pressed on vinyl. First and foremost, let's knock it out, Bay by Young Bay. This was one of the first true Future Funk albums I ever heard, and to this day, it has aged so well ironically. It's so cheap sounding, and you really can't debate that it's not, but because of that, it has this knockoff, careless attitude I've just loved so much ever since I first heard it, and I always find myself going back to the album for its simplicity. Here we have Bay on a splatter galaxy looking bad boy, and this thing just looks gorgeous. After seeing how the mana pool repressed by Vapor looks on that royal aggressive blue, I think Bay getting the same attention to detail detail, color, and design would do this thing the true justice it deserves. Young Bay has released vinyl in the past, his album Skyscrapers Anonymous, which I absolutely loved, and it did present a Young Bay with way more production talent and desire that I think we've ever really seen before. It's a great album. Rainbows and I Wanna Be With You coming from that album, just great tracks overall, and I actually didn't get a chance to cop this one on vinyl. I know the price has gone up recently, I'm guessing with all the commotion in vaporwave vinyl collecting in the past months, but hopefully one day I come around one for a good price. Next, we're gonna look at Dan Mason's Summertime EP, a small collection of fun, cute tracks that'll make you feel like you're in some home department store being blasted by air conditioning as you look outside to the hot summer day you're missing out on. You know, the irony of like sitting on patio furniture in the in the home section as you wait for your parents to finish buying like like tiles or some shit and you, all you got for like three hours of the next hours of your life are Game Boy Advance and Advance Wars 2 or something to pass the time. I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, here we got the summertime EP replicating those beautiful pasty and bold colors we see on the artwork explode onto the vinyl itself, each taking up a section of the circle. I've always loved that flat, colorful art style that doesn't have a lot of strokes in between objects or things in the artwork. It's just like color after color after color. And lastly, a super classic to me, just a great Future Funk album, Righteous Groove by Aesthetics Please. Just imagine owning that vinyl. Look how friggin' scrumptious that looks. I wanna eat it. Released on a couple cassette runs by Business Casual, who has also released vinyl on the label, hopefully one day we can see this well-produced, groove-tastic experience pressed. Check this album out for a Brazilian, Latino-style disco extravaganza. Classic hi-hats that hit your soul from measure to measure. They're gonna make you put down the spatula at that barbecue walk away from the grill for a little while, and take that girl you've had a crush on for so long and just start dancing the night away. I'm telling you, there's something about summer and future funk that go together. It's such a connection I've always made, and the genre itself provokes such happiness. It's pretty incredible. I mean, a lot of us make the argument that future funk is lame, or it's just lazy and whatnot, and yeah, I do definitely agree a lot of the times. It is it's lazy and it's simple, but at the same time, some like I just like to not take things too seriously and or or just like critique things that don't need to be as harshly critiqued as some other musical project that is going for something way more serious. You know, sometimes if we just just don't push away the obvious feel-good vibes to the side and start like a court case on how repeating the same Japanese disco street pop sample a thousand times like treason. I don't know about you, but to me it just sounds good, so I like it. Anyway, I'll always be a future funk dude. It's just great material to play with friends and family and just bring an even brighter aura to an already beautiful day. Check out some of my videos I've done on future funk as well, and I hope to see you around. Much love, your boy, Pad Chennington.